What is it that the Latin American musicians, what, what is it, what's the attraction that brings them to this country? Not only the Latin American musicians, all musicians all over the world, every part of the world that I've been, the dream of every young musician is to come into the mecca of the music, New York. In the 40s, when the number of Puerto Ricans began to increase, the Hispanic community became significantly more Puerto Rican. Afro-Cuban music is really a blend of many types of African music with the incorporation of French, Spanish, Afro-American and other elements. And in New York, what we have come to call Latin jazz has also incorporated Puerto Rican elements, Dominican elements, Colombian, Venezuelan, you know, different forms of black music, mostly from the Caribbean era. Along with tattered valises and steamer trunks, the immigrants brought with them a way of life, an ethos. Music and culture were introduced very quickly. With the birth and growth to adulthood of the second generation of Hispanics, you began to see changes in the kind of music developed here. Music was elemental to every group, a sort of cultural signature. It was not cool at all to be into Latin. Latin was very... Uh, very standardized and very blasé for a lot of us because it was our parents' music. So we went back, like I said before, we went back and we got a hold of our parents' records, those old Tito Puente records from the 50s, the Tito Rodriguez records, the Machito records, and we took a look at that. And we understood why that, in terms of art, was at a much higher level than the Latin Boogaloo. 